Okay, so I'll demonstrate how to configure a RAID. So we have added so far two disks, uh, two small disks into this server. We just have to go to the disk management in order to prepare the disk and then configure the, the RAID. So in order to get to disk management, you can either type it in the, in the search or you can just right click on the start and click on disk management. Um, so it comes up now uh, asking me if uh, it, re it recognizes the, the disk, the two disks that I've, that I've added and it wants to start the initialization process. So right now the, the disks are just like a raw disk and I can choose um, to do both of them at the same time or I can just cancel this and do it manually but I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, initialize the disk because this is the first step in preparing these disks in order to to uh, to create a RAID. So this, um, I, I can see that I have uh, two disks of the same size, 98 megs, very small disk. And what I'm gonna do is to uh, convert these disks and then create a RAID. So the first thing that I have to do is to, um, if I right click on the on the uh, disk here, it gives, me, it gives me some options. Let's look at some of the options. I can create a simple volume meaning that I can I can just set it up as um, not a RAID. I can just add, add it as, as a single disk in the system. I can set up a spanned volume. I can set up a striped volume or I can set up a mirror volume. Notice that I also have a RAID 5 volume and that's grayed out. The reason why it's grayed out is because two disks will not be able to create a RAID 5. I will need a minimum of three disks in order to create a RAID 5 volume. So if I had three disks of the same, of the same capacity, same size, or three disks uh, uh, available, I will be able to select that option of creating a RAID 5. The striped volume is our RAID 0. So that's not what I want to create. So the striped volume will basically um, have no redundancy. It will combine the space of the two disks to give me one large disk. Will it will present the disk as one large disk on the system as a as a combined space. So the one that I want to create is a mirrored volume. So what will happen is that um, whatever the, the the mirror volume will give me the ability, or the system will write the same information to both disks. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new mirror volume, click on next. Um, so it selected the one disk as being selected and now it sees the other disk that is available in the system. Okay, so the other disk, disk two, I can just add it. Okay, because that's available. I can just add and it, tell, it gives me some options at the bottom here. It says the total volume size in megabytes is 97 megs. The maximum available is 97, and then I can select the amount of space that I want to be or to make available. So I'm just gonna select all the defaults here. Notice that I can change the amount of space because I can make this smaller. I cannot make it larger. I can only make it smaller, right? So notice that it is only using half the amount of space out of the total two disk because that's what the mirror volume will do. It will only be able to use 50% of the total physical space that you have on the disk, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and click on next and I can assign a drive letter. I'm just gonna assign a letter of R. You can choose anything that's available. I'm just gonna choose R because uh, R just um, will just represent say RAID okay but you can use anything uh, that's that's available or to your liking um, so I'm gonna leave that as the I'm, I'm not gonna mount it in an in an NTFS uh, folder I'm just gonna assign the drive letters R and click on next and here it's asked me to format the drive so I can format it or I can and then I can choose a name of uh, if I want to add a name to it. So I, I can just call this RAID. RAID volume or RAID 1 
volume like that okay so I can say perform a, um, a quick format that will that will just make uh, um, enable like a like a very fast format of the disk then click on next and click finish so it gives me a warning here it says that the operation you selected will convert the basic the, the basic disk to a dynamic disk and if you convert the disk if you have any any data and stuff like that it will it will erase the data and uh, some other information um, warning if I want to continue so of course I have nothing on this disk so I'm gonna go ahead and format it and it will convert because a basic disk cannot be um, added to a RAID volume okay the disk must be converted or set to what is called a dynamic disk okay so in its format right now it is just set as a basic disk and during this process of creating the RAID it will automatically convert it to a dynamic disk if it's not already converted so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click next and it, and it will go through the process of creating it now this here is how you configure a software RAID okay so the hardware RAID will be will require a separate PCI card or RAID card uh, installed in the system and then the disk attached directly to the RAID card. In this case, I'm just using the uh, software that is the um, that is available in Windows Server to go ahead and create this RAID. Now if you look at it, um, if, if you look at the disk now, you notice that this has been converted to a, a dynamic disk, okay? It's 100 megs each, but now we'll go to Windows and see the capacity of this drive it should only be half of this capacity which is 97 megs so notice that the um, there's a lot of similarity between these two discs uh, both of them um, have been given the the same label the RAID 1 um, uh, volume the same name and they have been assigned both of the discs they have been assigned the same drive letter okay so our RAID now has been created. Let's go ahead to um, Windows Explorer and have a look to see if this drive is now available for us to read and write data to. So this is my drive R or my RAID volume, okay? And it's empty right now, it's blank. If I right click on the drive and go to properties, I will now see that the total capacity is only 96 or 97 megs. So there is half the capacity of the total physical disk space. So that there is the steps to uh, create um, a software uh, RAID. Um, we did a mirror volume or a RAID 1 and that's how you do it in Windows uh, Server.